Auckland Council is nearing the completion of its citywide food scrap bin rollout to 500,000 homes through September and October. These bins, now a common fixture in households, are said to be revolutionising organic waste management, but the story doesn't end there. Some are asking what the fate is of food scraps beyond our homes and how businesses are tackling this issue. Paradi Bakshi reports. Auckland Council's food waste bin rollout began in April this year with a clear objective. Auckland has a goal of zero waste to landfill by 2040. So as a city, we are striving towards a circular economy. And the amount of food scraps that goes, and the organic material that goes to landfills at the moment from the city is over 100,000 tonnes. The journey starts at home. Once the rubbish leaves the house, it is sorted and transported halfway across the North Island to Reparua, where EcoGas turns the waste into energy. The energy we produce, and we are very lucky in this, in this respect, will be able to put some of that energy back into the natural gas grid. And the amount of energy we extract from the food at our full scale will be able to heat or supply gas to an equivalent of seven, almost 7,200 homes. However, there are challenges. New Zealand is still behind other countries with some areas yet to be reached. New Zealand is the worst in producing waste in the developed countries and we are probably ten, ten, the 10th worst country in the world in terms of how much waste we produce. So this service that council is bringing in is mainly for residential households. It does include uh, you know, the multi-unit developments that we've got in the central city, but it may not be across all of them just based on the way they are developed. Uh, and in the rural areas, the idea is not to have a service there. The cost of having a food scrape bin comes to $77 annually. Auckland Council says 300,000 households have been supplied with the bin and it hopes to supply another 200,000 by November. Paridi Bakshi, Teo Tapatahi.